Hi! In this episode, I'll introduce advanced label management in QGIS. The principles are similar for all types of layers, but I'm going to use a point layer. In QGIS, you can style labels in a multitude of ways, but it all affects every label in the layer. Unless you set data-defined overrides, and for that you can also use the label toolbar. Here you get shortcuts to label settings and if activated diagram properties. There is also a toggle button that highlights any labels in the currently selected layer that use data defined overrides in this way. The rest of the buttons are grayed out as a default. To activate them, you first need to toggle editing on for the layer. Initially, this will only activate the button to change the label. Using the button and clicking on a label will open a label properties dialog that is uniquely associated with the selected label. For now, the only thing you can change is the label text, because that is the only unique field in the layer table. To enable other options, you need to add additional fields to the table. Let's start with visibility. This is a boolean value represented by 0 or 1, so integer type is preferred. Visibility is connected to the show label override, so it's just a case of selecting the field for this. Since the value in the table isn't 1, the labels are hidden. To change this, just use multi-editing and select all features and assign the field va the value 1. Now the show label option is activated in the label properties. The show hide label tool is also activated. Using this tool with shift and click hides the label and a click or a click and drag over the feature shows it. Let's add some more fields to control placement and rotation. Location is separated in X and Y, and depending on the layer coordinate system, you can choose a suitable type for the field. I create X, Y and rotation fields of decimal number type. The fields are then associated with the data defined overrides for placement and rotation, which will activate the remaining buttons in the label toolbar. Now I can move and rotate the labels with these tools. Note that rotation is done around the lower left part of the label. As it is, this is also the label anchor point. The anchor point can be changed as a standard for the layer or by more data-defined overrides, but the visual rotation center is still the lower left of the label. This may change in future releases of QGIS. Let's add some font styling overrides. This is done in the same way as before and you can choose what options you'd like to activate. Just make sure you use a suitable field type for each attribute. Now it's possible to change a lot of label properties individually in the properties dialog.
When you move the labels away from the features, you might want to add a callout to it. This is done with the geometry generator. In the layer styling, just add a style and select geometry generator as a symbol layer type. As it is a line I want, I also need to select a line as geometry type. The line is generated with a make line command that takes two points as arguments. The starting point is created with the label X and Y fields with a make point command. The second point is the point geometry. Note that fields are written using standard quotation marks and strings with single quotation marks. When the expression is valid, the geometry is automatically created. As this is completely dynamic, any change in the label placement will update the callout line. Also note that the line anchor point is the same as the label anchor point I set previously. Finally, if you want to add points to the layer, you will note that you have a lot of fields in your form you can fill out. Since most of them is updated automatically, you can easily hide them. On the Fields tab in the Layer Properties, you can change the Edit widget to Hidden for all label fields. For the Visibility field, you may also want to set a default value so that new labels are shown as default. Now when you add a feature, the form is a lot more manageable and the label tools are still available. See you next time!